Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to record AQW with OBS Studio. So, I made a video on OBS Classic, but that's obviously outdated now, and OBS Studio is just a lot better and simpler. So, what you want to do is go to the uh, download OBS Studio website. Uh, I'll put it in the description, but it's pretty easy to get there. You just type in OBS on Google, and you want to download this uh, OBS Studio over here. And yeah, once you got it downloaded, uh, I've just got this fresh download over here just for you guys. You also, on your browser, you want to go to AQW real quick. I've got this SWF link because it's easier. And you also want to log in because the dimensions are different to when over here. Um, when you log in, it's actually different. So you just want to sign in real quick. And I'm just going to sign in. And uh, when you go to Balon, you can start uh, making configurations to where the uh, thing, the black boxes you need to cut off. So uh yeah we're in here and what you want to do is uh first of all you want to create a new scene you want to add the display capture over here and you just create new you can do window capture but it doesn't work all the time plus this way is easier and less bug free, uh, it's bug free basically so you want to click this uh display capture and click okay now as you can see um we've got the browser here and we've got the black sides and the taskbar so to remove this what you want to do is uh, right click on the display capture and click on filters now what you want to do is right click the filters and click add and what you want to do is click crop and pad and you can just click ok over here now you just want to uh, make these go up until the black stuff is disappeared so for example do 150 as you can see on the left side um, we're just going to reduce it a bit so we can see everything there so as you can see on the left side it's been cut off all the black on the left and I'm just going to keep reducing it until I see some black there so I can go a bit up so I'm trying to get the best possible uh, angles for this or whatever it is measurements so now we've got uh, the top we're going to leave that for now we're going to go for right which is we're probably going to do 135 again because it's going to be similar to the other side and as you can see it seems to be alright I'm just going to make it go up a couple uh, just to make sure it's not going to show any black on the side and on the top uh, what you want to do is just, just estimate how much I think 100 is alright but we'll see we're going to zoom out a bit yeah so it's going to be around uh, let's say 94 and the bottom is not going to be much we'll just do like 50 and reduce it a bit over here you can hold the arrow as well uh, you can you can choose whether to show the gold or not I do uh, you don't have to obviously so now what you want to do is click close and it will save it as you can see your screen will be like this but before we change this guys we need to go to settings and we need to go to video now for AQW unless you have a 1080p screen I recommend you just do 720p because it's easier to set up uh, if you have a 1080p screen and you want to want to uh, recording at 1080p then all you have to do is change this to output output scaled resolution to 1080p obviously um, if you don't have a 1080p screen it's going to be whatever your screen resolution is here and on the second one you're going to output it to 720p because if you have a smaller screen than 1080p and you record in 1080p it kind of messes up the quality so you don't want to really do that so yeah uh, I'm just going to do it on 720p for you guys just to keep it simple then you just leave this the same and FPS you can change to 60 if you want but it will make the file size really huge and yeah so what you want to do here is hold the shift button make sure you hold the shift button otherwise it will mess things up so hold the shift button and it will grab the corner and it will make it all flexible if you don't hold the shift it will just be square and you can't change it to how you like so make sure you hold the shift and you drag it out all the way so as you can see we have our recording it's going to be it's going to turn out like this after recording so for example uh, we can start recording but first I want to go through the settings with you guys if you guys already know how to set it up then that's easy for you guys you can do that so yeah first of the general you don't really want to touch much here uh, at the stream you want to skip that um, unless you're streaming. Streaming is really easy like for example you're streaming to YouTube you go there and get your stream key look on a, on the internet how to get a stream key uh, I've forgotten how you get it you have to go to your dashboard or something so for the output what you want to do is change this to advanced now you want to leave the streaming tab unless you're streaming this tutorial is not for sh uh, tutorial on streaming it's just a tutorial on recording so we're gonna skip this uh, so you go to recording over here you put the type as standard you choose where you want to put your recording uh, I'm just going to leave it there for now. 
and you want to change the recording format to mp4 now what you want to do is actually change this to x264 or your graphics card uh, graphics card is preferable because it doesn't use a CPU so you won't have to be worried like if you want to make the quality of the video very high and you don't want it to lag then this is the best thing to do if you do put the uh, CPU one or this is the only one there I think for most people the majority everyone will have the x264 because it's a CPU so yeah you j I'm just going to do this for the purpose of the video and um, if you are running it through the x264 make sure you change this to ultra fast otherwise you will lag if you have a mediocre PC so unless you have a really high end CPU then you can change it but never make it uh, lower than very fast or faster I'd say maximum otherwise you will get lag it's just it's just not right guys so yeah you can leave the uh, keyframe interval uh, leave the rate control at CBR the bit rate you can change to uh, I, I'd say you can change it to 10,000 you can change it to uh, whatever number you want but try and stay within limits of your PC otherwise you might get problems so I'd say just 10,000 is good enough and uh, yeah we'll keep that on ultra fast you just leave everything else alone and yeah that's it for that and you want to click apply and you go to audio so here you want to just choose your microphone uh, my, uh, or your desktop device uh, for your speakers and all that so mine is on default at the moment it's not really showing my microphone for some reason oh no sorry the microphone is down here so the audio device is your speakers and the microphone you can choose you can have multiple ones going on at the same time uh, so you can separate the tracks so uh, yeah I'm, I'm just going to put my uh, microphone over here Actually, I'm going to leave it disabled because I don't really want to capture voice when I'm already... Sh oh, I'm going to show you back the video anyway. So, yeah, uh, that's it for audio. It's pretty simple. Uh, video, I've already gone through this. Hotkeys, you can change. You can you literally just click on the box and type in or, or just click a button on your keyboard to whatever you want the hotkey to be. Advanced, uh, you guys don't really need to change anything here. This is all fine. So, once you've done that, you're all set, guys. So, I'm just going to click home real quick. Um... So yeah, we do a test recording over here, as you can see. So, uh, recording tip might want to take away the chat and all that because it looks a bit messy. Take away any screen clutter, and yeah. So you want to start recording over here. It's not recording uh, any uh, sound over here so because I've disabled it, as you saw. But yeah, we're just gonna run around here, and I'm gonna show you the video afterwards. So yeah that's it and stop recording so to get to your recordings really quick you want to just click file and show recordings and you want to click on this one over here that we just recorded so we'll be in 720p as you can see uh, it's gonna show the whole screen capture over here and yeah that's how you record HWFI full screen as you can see the black boxes here are just from the media player but when you play it on YouTube it is gonna be full screen without any black bars so that you don't have to worry about and yeah guys Thank you for watching, if this helped you out please leave a like and I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.